Hello. We're back with Ant's Gecko Life. I'm Ant. This is my Mandarin Tangerine Trumper from LM Gecko. She's an absolute pleasure to be around. Uh, really, she's just always smiling. She's got awesome Trumper eyes uh, and a great carrot tail. And that's pretty much the reason I bought her. Um, she loves to crawl up. I've noticed a lot of leopard geckos like to crawl up on top of my head. So it makes me wonder if geckos kind of enjoy being up high. And it makes me think they should have more tall things in their terrarium to crawl on, crawl upon. So I'm going to try to set them up with that and see how they like it. I know there's some chance they could fall, so I won't let them go too high. Here's another shot of her eyes. Please don't look at mine. This one here I was just recording. I was showing how docile this Diablo Blanco is. I'm just actually assuming she's a Diablo Blanco. That's what she looks like to me, but I'm not positive. But I am positive about this female tangerine tornado. She's from Olavi Gecko. I'm just patiently awaiting for the day she's ready to breed. You know, when she's in the mood. She's like one of the darkest leopard geckos I've ever seen in terms of tangerine. She's so friendly. Loves coming out, out of her tank. Here's some more shots of her. And this is the male. He's a little bit younger, but he's also a tangerine, tangerine tornado. And uh, he's actually from the urban reptile. He's a really stunning guy. Uh, awesome attitude on this gecko. He's one of my favorite to take out and play around with. He's got that crazy dark spot on his back. This was just an outdoor shot of my male black knight, I think. Well, actually, I think that's one of my female black knights. She's a pure black knight. This was just a shot of my Max Snow black knight. I love all the speckles on him and like just the cool gray tones. I think he's a really interesting gecko. He's from James Jeptiles. Might breed him someday. And this is my female clown. She's from Matt over at Sasobeck. So he's the original clown, clown creator. I bought her at, um, at a reptile convention here in New England. She's a pretty wild gecko. And this here is uh, the male that I will be pairing with her. I've actually tried to pair them already. So we might have eggs coming. I love the oranges on this guy. It's really, the contrast isn't really showing up very well in the video, but this guy's got crazy greens and oranges. Oh, it almost started to come in there for a second. The actual color. There we go. I was trying to get it to focus because it's really not doing any justice. This guy is an awesome gecko. Awesome dark reds too on his tail. This is a Firebold Hyperzantic from Geeky Gecko. This thing is awesome too. I love this gecko. I actually got three or four of these from him. Uh, I got nothing but good things to say about them. They're awesome. This one's got some awesome orange spots coming in on the face. Um, the orange stripes on her head are starting to turn like more purplish. Pretty wild. These things have changed a lot in the last few months. This is a Tremper al albino as well. Definitely a visual albino. I'd love to see her paired to like a pure black knight and see what comes out. I think that'd be pretty wild. 
She's still got some growing to do. Love the dark orange pattern on her head. That's starting to thin out though. You can tell she's in the bright light because her eyes are so thin. Those orange stripes on her back are just starting to show up too. They're getting, getting darker with every shed. So I think she's gonna be a lot darker orange in time. But yeah, that was just some fit footage that I have on my phone of my geckos. I'll be releasing more over time. Hope you enjoyed Ant's Gecko Life. Have a great day. Peace out.